Hello friends, welcome to lecture 4 of Vector Calculus of Mathematical Physics for MSc and BSc students. So actually this topic should be discussed uh, after lecture 2 but uh, in lecture 3 we have discussed another topic so it's okay. So before you watch this video please uh, watch the lecture number 2 right. So then you will understand here we have discussed about uh, polar coordinates and uh, rotation of axis we have discussed in lecture 2 and uh, in this topic we are going to discuss that uh, magnitude of vector magnitude of a vector is invariant under rotation under rotation and next and next property we are going to discuss that uh, dot product of two vectors a dot b these are two vectors and after rotation of x axis uh, this is your 3d coordinate system this is x y z suppose if you rotate the system of a uh, coordinate system about z axis with uh, keeping the z fixed uh, through a certain angle then you get suppose uh, vector a transform to a prime b is transformed to suppose b prime so we need to prove that uh, dot product of these two vectors is equal to dot product of that two vector that is another property so let's uh, start the video before we start please subscribe the channel if you are new to my channel and uh, if you think this my video is helpful then please do share with your friends and inspire me to create new contents for you and uh, if you like the video then hit the thumbs up button okay so let's uh, start so properties of vectors under rotation so first property as i have already told you the magnitude of vector is invariant under rotation and the next property is the scalar product or dot product of two vectors invariant is invariant under rotation right so now the magnitude the first property of vector invariant under rotation that's so what we're going to show now let us consider suppose r vector which is given by x i cap y z cap zk cap represents the position vector of a point that is suppose p x y z its coordinate is x y z and uh, it is in the space of a 3d coordinate system and uh, this uh, position vector is uh, relative to a, a origin that is uh, o suppose relative to a origin o of a 3d coordinate system this is the coordinate system this is the point x y z and here is the position vector of y axis z axis x axis now let us rotate this uh, system x axis and y axis about z axis okay so about z axis so we have <coughs> this is the new system uh, this is the new system this is uh, y z right this is y z okay this axis is y z this axis is x z right so phi and this angle is also phi okay so according to the new system the coordinate becomes x dash y dash z dash right coordinates of p so what we have done if the so if the coordinate system is rotated about z axis uh, through an angle phi keeping the z fixed so this system is rotated about z axis right z axis so <coughs> x and y axis are displaced only right so then z is fixed here so that the new position vector of point this x prime y prime z prime with respect to the new coordinate system becomes suppose r dash prime uh, sorry r, r vector prime r prime vector uh, x prime i cap <coughs> y prime j cap and z prime k cap right now here you see we are to prove that uh, magnitude of r vector we are to show that magnitude of r vector is equal to magnitude of r dash vector that means uh, r dash uh, vector is the position vector of the same point after rotation of axis right so we have to show that this is the first property and we know that uh, the matrix for the rotation of axis about z axis is given by this uh, column matrix x dash y dash z dash is equal to cos phi sin phi 0 then minus sin phi cos phi 0 again 0 0 1 into again column matrix x y z so 
from here you see <coughs> from the transformation of the from this transformation equation right from this transformation equation uh, we can obtain x dash y dash z dash right so let's obtain those uh, this is a x dash and y dash and z dash z dash is simply z because it is fixed right z is fixed now before rotation we had x uh, sorry position vector of the point p uh, r is equal to r vector is equal to this x i cap y z cap z k cap right and after rotation it becomes r dash vector that x prime i cap z prime uh, y prime j cap then z prime k cap that's what we have got then we are to show this two are equal magnitude of r vector and r dash vector these are equal that has to be shown here so now you see uh, x prime if you put uh, here x prime y prime here you see uh, to obtain r dash here we have put uh, x dash or y dash z dash if you put those uh, equations uh, if you put those values what you will get this is suppose equation number one then r dash will be this one you will get this result you will get right this is the r dash vector right now you see our magnitude of r vector is given by this x square plus y square plus z square so then let's find the magnitude of r dash vector so that's going to be r dash mod of r dash that means magnitude of r dash vector is given by uh, x dash square that x dash is going to be here you know x cos phi y sin phi this is our x dash right this x dash square and uh, y dash will be this so z dash will be z right so this is y dash square and this is z dash square is simply z because z is kept fixed right <coughs> so now if you evaluate this so here apply a plus b whole square so we have got this then similarly here also apply same formula then we have got this then z square remains z square right so here you can see these two terms uh, here from here you can see x square and uh, x square cos phi and x square sin phi you can take x square common right and uh, here you see you can take x square common and from these two terms you can see y square sin phi and uh, this is y square sin phi you can take y square common and these two terms the, these are same terms but opposite in sign so these two will be cancelled right so after the simplification what we have got x square cos phi cos square phi sin square phi and then y square sin square phi cos square phi plus z square so here you can see we know sin square phi cos square phi that's going to be one so our result is r dash vector will be equal to x square plus y square plus z square so which is equal to magnitude of r right so here you, from here you can see we have got that magnitude of r dash vector and r vector okay r vector is the position vector of the point p according to the initial coordinate system and then after rotation we have got the position vector r dash vector so their magnitudes remain same invariant right so that's how we can prove the first property now let's move on to the next property that is scalar product or dot product of uh, two vectors under rotation invariant is invariant okay so let a and b uh, be two position vectors of two points respectively p and q suppose so p coordinate of p is x1 y1 z1 and uh, coordinate of u is x2 y2 z2 relative to some origin and o relative to the origin o of a 3d coordinate system so <coughs> so vector a is given by x1 i cap y1 z cap plus z1 k cap and similarly vector b is given by x2 i cap y2 z cap z2 k cap right then here vector a dot b uh, if you take the dot product of vector a and b then you will get x1 x2 y1 y2 z1 z2 this is suppose equation number one hope you know how to find the dot product so this is the coordinate system suppose x y z and these are uh, these are the two points p and q these are the respective coordinates so now these are the two position vectors a and b right now x and y axis uh, keeping z fixed uh, this system of coordinate is rotated 
pro and angle phi suppose if the coordinate system is rotated about z axis so to get x dash y dash z dash z is fixed here z dash and z will be seen throw an angle phi hmm. throw an angle phi so that we have got the new coordinate system new coordinates of these two points x1 prime x y1 prime z1 prime x2 prime y2 prime z2 prime so that the new sets of coordinates of the points p and q are this right and uh, the position vectors respective position vectors are a prime this one uh, this is the a prime new position vector of p and this is the b prime right new position vector of q right <coughs> so hope you have understood this after this point so now respectively now we know that the matrix equation for the rotation of axis about z axis is given by this matrix equation right this is the matrix equation which gives the uh, matrix equation for the rotation of axis right so using this <coughs> Using this transformation, we can find uh, uh, x1 dash, y1 dash, z2 dash, right? Similarly, x2 dash, y2 dash, z2, z2 dash, right? So, we can find this, okay? So, now, uh, so let us, uh, let's move on to another, uh, other slide, okay? So, before rotation, we had a vector is this b vector a is equal to this and a dot b is this one x2 y2 y uh, x1 y2 x1 x2 y1 y2 and z1 z2 right x1 x2 plus y1 y2 plus z1 z2 after rotation what we have got a prime vector is x1 prime i cap z1 prime j cap z uh, sorry y1 prime j cap z1 prime k cap then b prime is given by vector b prime is x2 i cap x2 prime i cap and uh, plus y2 prime j cap then z2 prime k cap right these are the two vectors we have gone after uh, we have got after rotation of uh, the coordinate system right now our motive is to show that dot product of a vector and b vector is equal to a prime vector and b prime vector dot product of a prime vector and b prime vector now you see let me write the transformation uh, the, the equation matrix equation again for the rotation of axis this is the equation that i have written already in previous slide so from here we should get x prime is this right so x prime then y prime will be minus sine phi into x then cos phi into y and then uh, you know remaining are zero so that's why and uh, z prime will be z as z is fixed so hope you know this uh, multiplication of uh, matrices so i'm not going to explain that okay so that's how we have got x prime y prime and z prime right so here you can see as we have here uh, if you see a, a prime a prime is what a, a, you can see here uh, x1 prime so x1 if x this is if this is x this right or x prime is this so x1 prime will be simply use one here right this one instead of x we're gonna put x1 instead of y we're gonna put y1 to get x1 prime this is our x1 prime i cap then now y1 prime j cap will be this right so just we are going to put here one right <coughs> So if you put two, then you will get uh, y two prime. Understood? So hope you have got it. Then uh, z one k cap. Z one prime will be simply z one, right? So similarly, uh, b b prime vector will be given by uh, x two dash prime uh, x two uh, prime. That's gonna be if you uh, if you want to uh, find x two prime, that's what you need to do. Here you see x prime is this, right? So just you need to put here 2 and here also 2. Instead of x1, you need to put x2, right? Instead of y1, you need to put uh, y2 and so on. That's how we got this vat, right? Now you see, 
we have already got a dot b now let us find uh, dot product of a prime and b prime okay dot product of a prime and b prime right so dot product of a prime and b prime will be uh, if you multiply these two if you find the dot product of a prime and b prime here you can see then you will get this result right so now replace x1 prime by this y1 prime by this then z1 prime by z1 then again we are going to replace x2 prime by this one y2 prime by this one and z2 prime by this so doing so what we're going to have so putting those values we have got okay so that's what we have got right now multiply these two multiply these two if you multiply these two what you will get you're gonna get this right so just simply multiplication right then let us multiply this two then what you will get you're gonna get this right then at the end we're gonna get z1 z2 right that's what we're gonna get okay so now uh, let me rewrite this result let me rewrite this result in the next slide as uh, i have no space enough space here so let's move on to next uh, let me copy this and let's move on to next slide okay this is the result we have obtained recently so right this is uh, dot product of a prime vector and b prime vector right so now you can see a dot b a vector dot b vector so what's this this is the equation number one let me rewrite this equation this is the equation number one so we are to show this is equal to a prime b prime dot product of a prime and b prime now here you can see uh, you can see this and this from this to what you can take common x1 x2 right and taking common we have got this within bracket right this is going to be one similar from these two terms here you can see same terms opposite sign going to be cancelled right so these two terms also same terms opposite sign going to be cancelled right and from these two you can see uh, y1 y2 can be taken common so after taking common we have got within bracket this right so this is going to be again one right z1 z2 so this to one right so then a prime dot b prime we have got this x2 y x2 x1 x2 y1 y2 z1 z2 right x1 x2 plus z y1 y2 plus z1 z2 this what dot product of a and b from equation number one so that's how uh, uh, does it prove that uh, dot product or scalar product of two vectors remain uh, unvariant okay is unvariant under rotation of axis that's how we can prove so hope you like this video and if you have understood this then do share with your friends and hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and uh, if you are new to my channel subscribe the channel and uh, stay connected so see you in the next video thank you for watching